All right, guys, welcome to the recap show. Thank you for joining me here on the JGN Junior Golf Network, cover one of the best leagues in East Texas, the Crown Colony Junior Golf PGA. So let's start into week seven's first match that Tuesday. We had the Lumberjacks taking on the Panthers. The Lumberjacks won eight to four. Let's go over a few of the matches. The brothers kept on with their winning way and dominant play, winning all three points. The Dream Team and going up with, with uh, Hayes and Rob going up against Bates, Cash, and Taryn. It was a pretty tight match. It went back and forth, but actually it was Bates, Cash, and Taryn who got the best of them. The Sisters of Destiny and Celeste take on Hud uh, Hudson and Nicholas. Um, it was a pretty tight match, but the girls edged out that one also. And the one shining moment for our Panthers, it was the Juggernauts, Caroline and Delaney taking on Colton and Kalen, and uh, they were just uh, a little too much for Colton and Kalen, so they won that one pretty good. So, but overall, the Lumberjacks got that one eight to four. We'll be right back with our next match. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're here talking about how to take care of the golf course, and today I wanna to talk about taking a little bit more care of the greens, and especially how we walk across the greens. I don't care if you're wearing <clears throat> soft spike shoes or tennis shoes if we drag our feet we're going to leave scuff marks okay and those are probably even worse than not fixing your div marks okay so we're on the greens remember the greens are the most expensive part of the golf course we always want to make sure we are picking up our feet and kind of walking gently you know you don't have to walk on a snail's pace but being careful we're like that walking and stuff like that okay so even when we're out here no matter what shoe you're wearing we got to make sure we're picking up our feet, not dragging our feet, on the green, okay? So, that's taking care of the golf course this week. All right, so we had some double header action this week. So let's go over our first match. We had the Roadrunners taken on the Express. And the Express, it was a tight match all the way, but the Express won seven to five. So let's kind of break down that match right there. Let's start off with Taylor, Natalie, and Mary Michael taking on Ashlyn, Anna, and Bella. And I believe Terry, uh, Taylor, Mary Michael, and Natalie were just way too much for them. They got all three points right there. Moving on, we'll do with the youngins. We had Garrick and Connor taking on Margaret, Millie, and Layton. And the young girls jump up on the boys early. Um, the boys came back in the next little point, um, and they tied that one. So that was a good match. Went straight back and forth all the way through. And then we had Gunner and Chase taking on Skyler and Kyle. Gunner and Chase won the first point. Skyler and Kyle came back to even it up, but Gunner and Chase got it there at the end. And then in our main matchup, that one right there. We had Parker and Giovanni taking on Sawyer and Dane. Sawyer and Dane got up early. Won a pretty convincing point there right off the bat. Um, and also won the next point too. Shockingly, I think they won it there on the last hole right there. And Parker and Giovanni at least got a tie right there. But it was the Express winning seven, seven to five right there, which could look great for the standings, All right? So we'll be right back to go over our next match. All right, guys, we're here with Alex, Miss District Champion this past year, doing our round table questions. All right, Alex, what's your favorite part of golf? Oh, gosh. Uh, whenever you put in long putts. Okay, when you make a long putt? All mm -hmm. right. What's your favorite club to hit? Uh, wedge. Wedge. Favorite golf course you've played? Are going to play whistling straights golf instructors jealous um favorite food to eat on the golf course uh granola bars granola bars hell's not favorite drink uh dr pepper dr pepper what's the funniest thing that's ever happened to you on the golf course gosh i'm gonna sit here thinking <laughs> three minutes <laughs> Uh, 
It was really funny when Catherine lost her club head whenever she was hitting her driver. <laughs> all right. Uh, do you like playing with all your friends? Mm-hmm. We've got a good group of girls? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, that's our interview this week. Thank you. All righty. In our last match of the week, we had the Crowns going up against the Cyclones. And the Crowns won big time. It was a very dominating match. So... Just a couple of uh, Jacob and Ryder won pretty big that day. Um, they won all three points. And JJ and McCann also won big right there. So it was just a dominating force, I believe. Yeah, it was almost a clean sweep right there by the crown. So pretty dominant match sometimes it happens there you go so that's this week's match we'll be back for some spotlight time all right guys keeping on with our rules this week we're covering our yellow hazard so remember we went over a couple uh, a week ago two different hazards we have yellow penalty area and red penalty area okay so today we're going to talk about yellow penalty area too, okay we're here on number four which is a yellow so if i hit the ball in the water okay I have basically two simple options. There's other options, but we're going to go over the two common options, okay? I can take stroke and distance and hit exactly from where I teed off from, or I can go over to the drop zone and drop there, okay? So it's one in, two out, hitting three onto the green, okay? So that's how yellow is. So either you hit from exactly where you hit before, or hopefully there's a drop zone. In majority of our par threes, there is a drop zone. You go up to the drop zone, it's a little shorter distance, but still consider stroke and distance, and you play from there. All right? So that's covering the yellow penalty areas for this week. We'll be back next week and cover up some more rules. All right, guys, spotlight time, so let's go over it. This week's upcoming player is going to be Luke Levine. Luke's improved a lot. Gotten a little longer and really uh, starting to get the ball out there and uh, progressing to be a really good player. Definitely more involved this year. Uh, player of the week is going to be Dane. My man Dane. Had a great match this week and uh, is really looking good. He's got a good chance at All-Stars this year. And legendary player, it would be Kendall Halleck. Kendall's uh, now a senior at, there at Hudson High School. Looking to finish off her golf career in a very uh, good way. So that's our spotlight players of the year. Remember, guys, can't do it without y'all. Send me pictures, photos. Um, that's actually the same thing. Pictures, videos, and all that. And we'll see y'all next week.